Hello my dears, welcome to training video number three. Today I wanted to do something that's very specific to trans women. Um, I have a lot of friends who are trans women who are going through the early stages of their transition and they're really struggling to come to terms with things and how their bodies are going to change and react to hormone therapy etc. And I just wanted to share something that I've learned over the last five years of taking hormones and it is, you know, in two months it'll be Actually, May, June, July, yeah, be, in two months it will be five full years that I've socially transitioned as well. So I just wanted to share some of the things that I've learned. I was really inspired by a post on um, Facebook. I saw this post and it was entitled 10 Facts That Every Woman Should Know. And I saw this photo of a woman and it was essentially, it was a photo of her in black and white in the midriff. And I was just... I was mesmerised by the picture, but also by the actual message that it was bringing to women. And I wanted to do something very similar for the transgender community. So whilst I got inspiration from that idea, um, I haven't ripped off the article totally. So number one I wanted to say is... Every woman, which is they could be thinner, every woman that I know, generally speaking, um, wishes they could lose weight or wishes that part of their body was different shape. You know, everyone, most women... In the real world, anyway, they have um, they have a muffin top. They have rolls of fat that they don't like. If you don't know watching this and you're a trans woman, the average trans woman puts on nine pounds of body fat during transition. Nine pounds. Certainly, when I was struggling in my early transition and didn't know what my body was going to have to do in order to develop the curves and the breasts and the bum and everything else, I was bulimic. I was worried about what I was eating. Um, I was 10 stone, which for a 6 foot tall woman is crazy. I was thin, there was nothing to me. Don't worry about the fact that you're going to be putting weight on. You need to develop fat in your body to have the bum in the hips and the breasts. And let's face it, every trans woman that I know wants bums and breasts. So, yeah, don't be afraid of putting on fat. Number two is, you're beautiful. A lot of transgender women, when someone says this to them, or they say that, you know, certainly very early on in my transition, when people said to me, you look beautiful, I was like, oh, thank you, that's so kind of you. But I didn't really believe them. And I'm going to give you one really specific example that has stuck with me. Very early on in my transition, I was only about two weeks into my transition, and I was walking through Bournemouth Town Centre, and there was this group of guys. It was August, and anyone who knows Bournemouth will know transitionally in the August July, August, September, we get a lot of hen stag weekends down here as well as the European language schools as well. So Bournemouth Bound Centre is heaving. And there were hundreds of people around and I was walking down past McDonald's from by the arcades there and this guy shouts, Oi, you're a bloke! And honestly, I just, everyone looked at me. I had a maxi dress on, I was wearing wigs at the time. I thought that I looked okay, but he screams, Oi, you're a bloke! And I just wanted the world to swallow me up. And then, you know, another 10, 20 metres further down the road, there was this lady. Um, she was wearing a hide scarf. She was a Muslim. And she was also selling a big issue. And she said, you look beautiful, darling. And I was like, oh, thank you. That, you know, her words then saved me, I think, because I was so down when that guy said that. And, you know, the majority of people are going to support you and not hate you. So you know, when someone says that you're beautiful, it's because they see a beauty in you. So take that on board and thank them. Um, number three is facial hairs. If you're lucky enough to come to your transition at the other side of a puberty blocking period and you haven't had to go through the male hormone um, change, then kudos to you. You're not going to have this issue. But certainly any trans woman who's gone through puberty and who's had male facial hair growth, you're going to find facial hairs, and part of transition is getting rid of those hairs. If you don't want to have a beard, I know some women are proud of having beards. There is a, a famous um, Sikh woman, I forgot her name now. But um, certainly, you are going to struggle with having facial hairs. I've been having hormone therapy now for well over five years, and this August this year, um, it's now we're now in early mid-May, in August this year, I'll have been having hair removal for five years and I'm still having to go. You know, there are still going to be times when you're going to have facial hairs and stuff. It's part of the process. Just enjoy it. The fact that you're getting rid of it, your hair loss is actually part of the progress towards womanhood. So be happy about that. Number four is your legs. 
again, if you had puberty blockers, you're not going to have this problem. Um, but certainly, you know, I have quite big legs. My calves are 17 and a half inches around. You know, they're, they're quite big. And a lot of my female friends have said to me they would kill to have legs like mine. They're, like, they're kind of very strong, spartanite, um, athletic looking. So don't beat yourself up about the fact that you've got, you know, what some people would say they were manly legs or certainly legs that look muscular. A lot of women would kill to have your legs. So be proud in that. Um, number five is confidence. Be confident in the fact that you have taken a decision to transition. A lot of people would love to have the confidence to be themselves, to live their authentic truth and not really worry about what other people think of them. And, you know, as a trans woman, as someone who stood up to society and said, you know what, I'm actually doing this. Take confidence in that. Your confidence will build as you transition and you get better at applying your makeup and you get more comfortable out in public and everything else but you know confidence is not something that you kind of just go and buy it's something that you you'll generate and there's this there's a phrase that came into my life about 12 to 18 months ago a chap called Brendan Bouchard I kind of model some of what I'm doing on him because I think the guy's an absolute genius um, he said to me the power plant doesn't have energy it generates energy and it's the same for a person if you want to have confidence a lot of people have to generate that and that's fine you know you will get confident and more confident over time so just accept that and you know just keep going and eventually you will achieve the goals that you want to the sixth one I want to say is self-acceptance now if you've watched my last training session I talked about self-acceptance really in depth there but accept yourself accept that you're on the path to your transition and things are going to get easier as time progresses so just accept the fact that you've you've done the bravest most wonderful fantastic thing because you've actually said to society you know what i might not be aligned with the pe person that i was born as but that doesn't mean to say that i'm not going to accept myself and love myself enough to follow my truth so the fact that you have self-acceptance is the most wonderful beautiful fantastic thing be happy in that number seven you know, a lot of women, if you ask them, there's part of their bodies that they don't like. Um, I know a lot, some trans women, they don't ha like their face. They don't like, you know, they want to have facial feminization surgery or they want to have breast implants because they feel that they're not getting enough growth on hormones. Um, they're unhappy with the lack of progress when it turns to fat distribution, etc. It's called transition. It's not called switch. I can't emphasize this enough. And it's even the same with... with um, my friends, so a lot of my friends are actually F to M and you know it's the same with them when they first start taking testosterone the voice doesn't break instantly you know some of them it takes a few months some of them it takes a few weeks um, with you know and they have to bind until they're going to have the chest surgery if that's the route that they're going down but it's called transition it's not called switch remember that your body is going to change and grow into the person that you want to be enjoy the process don't get so focused on the end goal that you lose sight of the person that you're becoming you're blossoming you know a lotus flower requires mud to grow in and you're a lotus flower you're blossoming you're blooming into this wonderful person that you want to be so take solace in that take heart in that don't be so angry and frustrated at your lack of progress because it will kill the the your happiness and you know i can't emphasize it enough so just enjoy the process number eight i want to say is there's always going to be someone who you're going to look up to and think, God, she's amazing. I love her. I wish I could be like her. She's beautiful. She just, she has that passing privilege. You know, people look at her and they don't guess that she's trans or she has so much confidence. I wish I had as much confidence as her. All of my female friends go through this and a lot of people call me inspiring and I have so much courage because I'm living my truth. You know, it doesn't matter who and what you are as a person and also as a trans woman. There are going to be other women who are going to look at you and they're going to say, I wish I had the, her courage. I wish I had her bravery. I wish I was able to do the things that I want to do in my life like she's doing the things that she wants to do. Take heart in that. There is always going to be someone who's going to be looking up to you and wishing they were more like you. So just enjoy the process of becoming the person that you are. Number nine, um, it's really... 
it's a difficult one to talk about, but everyone deserves happiness. Everyone deserves love. Um, there are going to be some people who are going to treat you like dirt out there because you're trans. You deserve happiness. You deserve someone to treat you with the love and respect that you actually deserve. Don't accept second best. Um, certainly, you know, when I was looking for love online and stuff, I'd have people messaging me saying, hi, babe, you look beautiful and stuff. And I would actually put on my profile that I was transgender because I think the worst thing you can do in any relationship is be dishonest in the start of it. I wanted to have that level of transparency and honesty in the start of any relationship. And so I shared the fact that I was transgender. And when I would point people towards the profile to read it, they'd block me and I'd be like, obviously, they weren't the right people to be in any relationship with. And it was the same, you know, what I have been in a few relationships before I met my current partner who is my soulmate, my best friend, the love of my life and she gets me totally and you know I met her when I just quit looking for love. I was just doing the things that I love and I was singing in a choir. I love singing and I love singing in this choir and I met her there. Wasn't expecting it at all and you know you're gonna find love when you least expect it as well if, if you haven't got that relationship yet so just keep doing keep being the person that you are keep being happy keep growing into the person that you want to be and then ultimately you will find love it will happen for you when you least suspect it or least expect it so just love yourself and the rest will follow and number 10 I'm gonna say you're a trans woman do you know how blooming amazing it is the fact that you've said do you know what society I'm not going to fit into the role that you've given me I'm going to grow into the person that I am inside because that is where I'm going to be most happy do you know how brave that is do you know how much courage you have to do I mean I've likened it to stepping off a plane the first day that I went into work I was bloody petrified I was shaking I was hyperventilating and I've never had those kind of issues before so understand that You've chosen to transition, you're amazing, you're beautiful, you're fantastic. I see that in you and see that in yourself. Thanks for watching and I hope that you've enjoyed this training video. If there's anyone out there who you think would benefit from this, please share this with them. If you want to subscribe, you can subscribe just down below. I've also written a blog to go along with this article so you can share that and read through that and refer back to it if needs be and there will be a podcast being uploaded to iTunes in the next few days as well. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys sometime soon. Take care. Bye.